What is up, my Fullerton Kings and Queens? Welcome back to my channel. Now, we got Tiffany Haddish back in the click today, you guys. And I'm assuming that's why my YouTube is being shadow banned because I talked about that sensitive topic. So, we're not going to go too deep into it. However, she did have a statement today. So, this is what she said. She said, I know people have a bunch of questions. I get it. I'm right there with you. Unfortunately, because there is an ongoing legal case, there's very little that I can say right now. But clearly, while this sketch was intended to be committed, comedic it wasn't funny at all and i deeply regret having agreed to act in it i really look forward to being able to share a lot more about this situation as soon as i can so the way that i feel about this whole situation is that that was just a bogus statement i feel like if you weren't going to elaborate you don't have to talk about the legal case but i don't really feel like there's anything she could really say i mean we're talking about kids here like, is this, we're not talking about adults being weird. We're talking about you were an adult when you act in this. I mean, honestly, even if she's, whether she's a parent or not, you're a human being, you're a woman. And I just think doing that with Aries Spears playing as if he was a pervert was just out of line. In my opinion, there was nothing funny about it at all. So it honestly just sucks that she decided to make that decision. And now it's coming back to haunt her. Like I always say, life is about decisions. You make that decision, you got to live by it. There's nothing you could do to change it. You can only move forward for it. So I'm going to definitely send prayers her way that she definitely get the help that she need because that was weird. But also the children that was involved in this are feeling uncomfortable. Anyways, you guys, you guys let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this. I'd love to know your thoughts, but let's move straight on to Sheree Whitfield in the click today, you guys. And it finally looks like she finally dropped her clothing line. She by Sheree. So it's no longer more September for uh that is uh spring summer okay september spring show uh, spring summer well she by sheree is up and her two-piece trina set is 130 dollars and her jogger set is 125 dollars so she by sheree is a little pricey for these type of outfits but what i want to say is she is getting dragged now click it look like sheen is carrying the same outfit for a lower price and amazon for 26 dollars and 99 cents now y'all know twitter came and ate that up. One person said Dwight already knowing she by Sheree is really she by Sheen. She by somebody else. Even Bravo Andy wanted us to know he got his. Another person said I done graduated high school, went to college, graduated college, started my career, went through two recessions, three global plays, and changed presidents thrice and still know she by Sheree. Pack it the F up. <laughs> Well, click it looked like since she was trending today due to the overwhelming interest in she by Sheree. Y'all could pause the video and read it, but she basically said her site crashed and for people to check within 24 hours for it to be back up. I don't know, click y'all. Let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about this. In my opinion, I feel like she could have done a lot better than what she's done. I mean, it took you all these years just to put a logo on an outfit that is already duplicated on many sites. I don't know, click it just wasn't given to me y'all let me know if y'all like it y'all let me know if y'all went shopping i'm not spending 130 dollars on an outfit that i could buy or for amazon for 26 dollars is no way so y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that i think sheree should have just did it it was no effort put in this and i'm just disappointed anyways y'all let me know what y'all feel about this i'd love to know your thoughts let's move straight on to cj so cool back in the click today you guys and the reason why he's back in the click is because he posted this picture on his instagram with the caption she left me and i turned into the best me now he also posted a picture with z -Lo, and they've been outside lately since the breakup between him and royalty and i will say that i've seen royalty also outside with her friend and her mama now i gotta admit these both are definitely doing it on purpose so they could get each other mad they definitely petty but i couldn't help but wonder like where's all the kids because usually royalty is leaving them kids with her mama so mama was out outside and her little daisy dukes on <laughs> Royalty also posted her stories. I have zero interest in anybody right now. Y'all are weird and liars. She also said, no hurt can turn me into a hoe. I'll boss up before I go a bunch of people. And she said, and I am. 
But Click asked for CJ. It looked like he has literally been living his life. Now, he talked about how he was very much so feeling free, that everything happens for a reason at his vlog earlier. But it looked like he's been going to fancy restaurants, just really just eating really good, spinning that guala guala. And he also went out with his DJ friend, and you're not going to believe who he ran into, Ruby Rose. And you would have thought that this would have been the only picture, but he posted four pictures in total and then had the nerve to post in his stories do we look good together and the percentage had me gagging 75 percent said yes and 25 percent said no cj is most definitely doing this on purpose to get royalty upset because it's just no way that you're gonna put that in the stories knowing darn well ruby rose is not worried about him and i mean the fact that he was recording her this long in his stories was just on some creep mode like i get it cj you single you thirsty you want you want royalty to know that you looking at other females but you been was doing that so it's really nothing new now y'all already know i make my reservations and y'all know we most definitely going to talk about it y'all take a look at what he had to say in his vlog it's a lot going on through my head clearly you know um i lost a lot but i gained a lot sometimes you got to close a door to open another door a lot of stuff is happening that i'm not used to happening a lot of calls are coming through a lot of dms are coming through and it's like so much I want to tell y'all. It's a lot that I can tell y'all. Like, I always wanted this life, but I, I want this life for me and my family. I don't want it just for me. I want it for everybody. And I've always wanted it for everybody. But if if you can't understand that, if you can't agree with what I see as my future, then it's, it's best that, you know, things happen. So that's what I believe is the reason why all this is happening. I believe that God himself is like looking down, saying, listen, time is very precious. And not that I was wasting time, but you don't want to run out of time before you realize you're the one saying, I should have did this. So I just don't want to be saying to myself in the future, I should have did more, I should have tried harder to uh, be more accomplished and established and more connected. So what I got from that is the fact that he's basically saying that when he was with royalty, she didn't like the fact that he goes out. And he wanted to network and he couldn't do those things while he was in a relationship with her. I gotta admit, Click, he's definitely look a lot more happier than he did when he was in a relationship with royalty. He always would be in the house and look real miserable with her. And I mean, in my opinion, once you break the trust in a relationship, there is no relationship. So even if he did go out, she wouldn't trust him because of the things that he did. So that's that relationship will, will never work because when the trust is not there, you have nothing. So to me, it would be a broken cycle back and forth with them going back and forth. So I'm really hoping that they definitely stick with each other as far as like co-parenting and just stop being petty and trying to get the other person mad on the Instagram. And this is just grow up. These are two grown adults in their 30s going back and forth on Instagram with subliminals and trying to show each other that they're outside. Like just grow up. Now, now, in my opinion, while I'm so excited that royalty is getting out, because there's nothing wrong with a mother to go out and let her hair down and just get some me time, I just think that the priorities is all f***ed up because you in the process of staying with your moms and there was a so-called house that y'all waiting to get into. You did say September 1st was right around the corner, but I'm pretty sure that the crib is not fully furnished yet. Everything ain't together. Or maybe you didn't even move into a house because last time you said the same thing when you left CJ the first time. So in my opinion, the last thing on my mind would be me trying to show off online just to show that I'm going out just to get my ex mad. I will be saving every last piece of coin to my name because obviously ultimately she is the one with all the kids the bigger responsibility cj can get up move and leave as he please unfortunately and then royalty is the one with the responsibility have to take care of every last one of them so if i was her i wouldn't even be so thirsty to jump out until my priorities and my crib and everybody's straight that's just my opinion y'all let me know in the comments below what y'all feel about that i'd love to know your thoughts that is all i got for the click news i see you guys in the next upload on the road to to 50k i see we are almost at 40,000 subscribers i love you guys so much y'all are so lit kings and queens i'm telling y'all every time i look at my phone i'll be like wow i'm really growing y'all really with a girl anyways love you guys see you guys in the next upload